Jedi YouTube. It is V Blazed here from Seismic FPS, and welcome to the video. So today I'm going to be showing you another Halo 5 Forge tutorial. This one on how to make an object slide down a ramp. So the first thing you're gonna want to do is just get it set up. And to do this, we are going to want to place a ramp and a large block for the object to sit on. I'm going to have a piece of cargo sliding down the ramp. You can use whatever you'd like. doesn't really matter, but the distances will vary. The pitch will not because the pitch is just what the angle of the ramps are. Now, all ramps are on the same angle as well. So anyway, let's get to adding these, the ramp and the block to the map. So the ramp is in structures, slopes, ramps, and I am using a 16 by 6, no, 32 by 16 by 16, I think. And I'm going to use a 16 by 16 by 16 block. The block is in primitives, so you just go 16, 16, and choose a 16 by 16 by 16 block. And that is as easy as that. So then you want to place them together like I have. Just have the ramp leading up to the block. And then I'm going to place the cargo on top of that. Now I'm going to use an open infantry cargo which you can find in I think it is what is it? Props? Yeah, props, cargo, open infantry cargo. And then I'm going to place that one on top. Of course you got to rotate it first. And yes. Now for the fun part of making the script. So you want to Highlight the cargo, go on to script, add script. I'm going to add two different scripts because I know I'm definitely going to need two minimum. And then you want to go on power state, leave the first one on. on. I'm going to change, although I've already used the alpha channel, so you probably should change that to Bravo. I didn't pick up on it at first, but yeah, you might want to do that. And you're going to go and make the action rotate, change the pitch to negative 30 and put a timer on it and then the second one we are going to go on power state alpha also leave it on on and do a move offset now this one I'm going to move in the X direction so forward and I'm going to move around about 25 units just to start off with just to get like an idea and we're going to put a timer on this of five seconds put a four second timer on the first one and yeah, we're going to see how this goes. So you're also going to add another script. And you're going to make this just to reset it. So on power state, change that to off instead of on. And then just, yeah, position reset. And then put a little bit of a timer on it. I'm going to put it two seconds just because I want it to get done quickly. I don't really care what it looks like because I just want to get the thing reset. And yeah. So now I want to place a terminal down. Um, once you get into position, you know, do the unselect, deselect, unselect, deselect thing. Just so it stays there. That I've shown in my other tutorial on how to stop the bug fix. So, and then you want to go on interaction with the script. Power set. On alpha, I want it to be toggle because I want to change from on to off. And as you can see, the pitch is in the wrong direction. And I've got it on the alpha channel still, so the other one moved. So I need to change this to the Bravo channel and I need to change the pitch from a positive 30 to negative 30 or from negative 30 to positive 30 depending on which one I set. So the pitch was on negative 30 so I need to change that to positive 30 like so. And I need to make sure everything's on the Bravo thing and not Alpha. So that's all good. And now we can try again. Or after you change the terminal to Bravo as well. I forgot about that. You can't get a terminal on Alpha as well. So as we can see, it dips down too low, so Z axis needs to get changed. And it so the Z axis needs to get changed to negative one. I think it's on negative one already, actually. So to see X axis needs to get changed. So it's gonna make that bigger, I think 30 one now it's too big so yeah but now we can't even climb up there so now we need to make that smaller 
I need to reset it first. If you make any changes and it's in the unset position, you'll have to, that'll become its new resting position. So anything that happens then will get moved. So if you hit it again, it'll probably go underneath the map. So you gotta make sure you watch that. Don't do that. That's not what you wanna do. You always want to go back to its original position. So yeah, make that fix and test it again. And yeah, that's a lot better. So we can walk up that one, get up top, and yeah, that's pretty much what we want. And then you just can make the second part of it <coughs> better, so it's not taking just two seconds, change that to five seconds, so it's a more smooth animation, not as buggy or clunky. Then we can test this one again. Yes, it may go emerge into the ramp a little bit, but that's all right. At least the action is fairly fluid, fluent, sorry. And yeah, the second one's not too bad either. So that's your ramp, guys. Hope these guys enjoyed the video. It has been me, V Blazed. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you guys did enjoy the video. Laters.